What's up, Internet world? Matthew here, coming to you from beautiful Long Island on another gorgeous autumn day, late autumn, early December. I am standing in Twin Ponds Park here in Centerport. I'm just up the block from Northport. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I like to take my daughter up to Northport a lot. It's a great historic town, lots of old buildings, great food, lots of wonderful dogs and great people. So if you're ever up in the area, you definitely want to check that place out. So I want to pick up right from the last vlog. Uh, that was entitled, of course, Nothing Matters. Uh, as I said, it's on the surface a depressing thought to think that we're just these little tiny beings and that the big infinite, infinite cosmos uh, don't really care about us, but that there's a really a glorious freedom in knowing that we can actually let go, that things don't, not everything matters as much as we think we do. And that even while I can be in a depressive state, while my body and my brain just don't feel right, at the deepest level I can remain positive and happy and have great energy and enjoy my life because I realize nothing matters. I'm going to carry on exactly from that thought. I want to talk to you about the works and the words of the great Bill Hicks. Uh, some of you might know him. He was a comedian that emerged on the scene in the late 80s through the early 90s uh, when he unfortunately died of cancer. But he was a nonconformist on the order of George Carlin and Lenny Bruce. And he wasn't just shocking, he was genuinely engaging, got you to think about things in a really uh, different way, really came at life from a very interesting angle. And it was at the end of his HBO video special in 1993, Revelations, that he left us all with one of what has widely been considered one of the greatest speeches of the late 20th century. He said, the world is like a ride in an amusement park. When you choose to go on it, you think it's real because that's how powerful our minds are. The ride goes up and down, round and round, has thrills and chills, and it's very brightly colored, and it's very loud, and it's fun for a while. And many people have been on the ride a long time, and they begin to wonder, hey, is this real, or is this just a ride? And other people have remembered, and have come back to us and say, hey, don't worry, don't be afraid, ever, because this is just a ride. And we kill those people. Shut him up. Shut him up. I've got a lot of investment in this ride. Shut him up. Look at my furrows of worry, my big bank account, and my family. This just has to be real. But it's just a ride. We always kill the good guys who, ever, who try to tell us that. You ever notice that? And let the demons run amok. But it doesn't matter because it's just a ride. We can change it anytime we want. It's only a choice. No effort, no work, no job, no savings of money, only a choice right now between fear and love. In my, one of my earlier blogs entitled The Nature of Nature, I drew attention to the fact that all people operate on the same primitive fear-based drive to survive, both physically and emotionally, and that humans are much more uniform in this than we're comfortable in admitting to ourselves. I brought out the fact that we are not that far removed from criminals like thieves and serial killers and that the only difference between us and those people is that it came down to where we chose to focus our mental energy and if we just go about our lives working to keep the parts of ourselves that we don't like hidden that we could potentially also do monstrous things and there's nothing, again, there's nothing evil about the drive to survive. It's in all of us, it keeps our species going, but it's the lengths that people will go to to maintain a facade of normalcy that causes people to do horrible things. The truth is, you're just as scared as anyone else that you'll be discovered to be a, a fraud or a failure or not enough. What's more, if you've been on this journey of self-development for any significant length of time, you're probably sick to death of hearing people like me tell you that. Still, you do your damnedest day after day to maintain this image that you are cool or that you've got it together or that, as Mel Robbins put it, you're fine. Now, does this mean that you should go around having as many nervous breakdowns as you feel encroaching on your soul? Please don't do that. <laughs> what it does mean is that 
you're on much more of a level playing field with everybody else than whoever with whoever you think you're competing with. That you can have goals, but you don't need to kill yourself to reach some sort of expectation that again somebody else would have put on you. It's important for you to be aware of and to understand your motivations so that you can be much more clear about your choices. See, it's, it's, it's as Carl Jung said, until you make the unconscious conscious, it will direct your life, but you'll call it fate. I know I've been repeating myself in these vlogs. It's because I cannot make this point clear enough. You are operating on ancient, unconscious programming that is thousands of years old and hundreds of years outdated. Unless you start to learn what they are and how to deactivate them, you're never going to get anywhere. You're going to be on the ride, stuck doing the same thing over and over again. And whether or not the ride will end up actually being enjoyable to you is going to remain in the purview of capricious deities instead of in your own capable hands. Now, I know this is easier said than done. I deal with it all the time. I struggle with my own primitive drives. It's not so easy to just deprogram yourself. I know that. But once you make a habit out of questioning your own thoughts and feelings and emotions, that's when you know you can start to mitigate potentially hazardous actions. It's as Bill Hicks said, you have to actually stop and question, hey, is this real or is this just a ride? And does any of it even matter? Now, again, this is difficult to do, but fortunately for you, I've just hit discovered an amazing tool that will allow you to actually do that on a regular basis and move forward in your own development. I'm going to bring that to you in the next vlog and I want to thank you for listening to my words in whatever format you found them. I hope that my experience has been helpful to you and if you like or if you liked or hated what you heard here please comment share and subscribe. From beautiful Long Island I want to wish you all peace love and protein pancakes. I'll be talking to you next week.